welcome back. I'm going to show you today on Adobe Illustrator how you can do a tossed repeat pattern and what you see on the screen here is one in the making. Now definitely the AI generate pattern beta is great. I have another video on that. Check it out. But if you have custom artwork I'm going to show you the workflow for it. It's pretty simple and it's definitely better than Photoshop for a lot of reasons. So let's make a new one and we're going to jump in with an 18 inch by 18 inch and that's so I can go direct to print. And um, I'm going to want to be working with as much resolution as possible. So this 18 inch board is great. I'm going to go in and add some artwork. Now I have these two motifs. There are different resolutions and I used them for different things. And you can see this uh, monarch is really kind of big, right? So to start with, I'm going to select and go up to Object, go to Rasterize, and um, you always want your Rasterize to be 150 to, or 72, but really 150 is optimal, and that background to be transparent. Uh, this one as well, let's go up, Optimize, and just make sure and we're doing this because I don't want Adobe Illustrator to run real slow. However, before I get started, if you do get some slow response with this, go to the view menu and you can preview on CPU or change it to preview on GPU if you have a graphics card and it may improve your performance. Okay, the next thing you want to do is down here in the view, go to fit on screen. And this is important because this square, this artboard, we're going to make the pattern block, the thing that repeats over and over, the exact same size. Grab both of these. I'm not going to move anything in the interface. I'm going to go to object, object pattern, make. And hit OK. And I'm going to change this to 18 inches so it matches exactly with my uh, artboard. And this is important because when I go direct to print to Contrato, it's Bloomflower or something like that, this repeat pattern will repeat seamlessly. And that's the reason we're doing it this way. So now that I haven't moved things around, now it's okay because that border there, you can see as I start to repeat it, like this little butterfly comes up along the bottom. And that's called picking up the repeat. And that's immediately why Illustrator is better at this than Photoshop. I'm convinced. So I'm just going to use these two motifs and I'm going to just follow some basic rules for a tossed pattern. This is going to be a non-directional pattern, which gives me a lot of flexibility. As I'm working, I'm holding down click, alt, option. The alt option key is just to the left of your keyboard. And that makes it so I can uh, make copies really fast. So again, every time I go past the edge, something like this here, I have to drag a copy using Alt Option, and then I hold down Shift, and that locks it into position. And then I can bring it right over here. Same thing for this one. Alt Click Option, then hit Shift, and then drag over. Nice. And uh, you can always nudge them too with your keyboard arrows afterwards. Okay, let's keep going. And I'm going to fast forward right now so you can see this whole process come to life. Now I have this one on the corner. I'm going to need to make two copies. So alt click drag over to this side. And then I'm also going to need one up top. Right there. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, I'm going to zoom out and see what this looks like. And I think I have a decent tossed pattern here. There's a bit of a gap right there. And to identify where that is, it's pretty simple. Um, I find this one, zoom in, I find this one uh, butterfly and the one that goes this way. So there he is. So it's about right here. Let me drop one more in there to make it look good. I think it's kind of gnarly. Like, when you have a whole bunch of motifs, it's hard to select off and then back on them. So it's real important that you don't like click off and then back on. Make a small butterfly there. Okay, that looks pretty good. 
Let's go ahead and hit done. And you're like, oh, nothing happened. You know, we grab a rectangle, click in the artboard and make sure that it is the same size, 18 by 18. And then move it over into the artboard area. Let's zoom in again. And then now that pattern is right here. And it looks like the original block. This will tile in Contrato or in Spoonflower. So, and I want to show you how to add a background. A um, couple different ways to do it. Go and add your layers here. You can just select on this pattern layer and make a copy of it. Select the one on the bottom. And instead of having the fill be the pattern, we can come in and make our own fill color. And I'm gonna make it kind of a similar color as that butterfly. Okay, that looks pretty cool. It will look, you know, okay, but it is rather flat. So with that color or this block, this background block selected. Oh, and by the way, let's delete these real quick. We don't need those anymore. Okay, with this background block selected, let's go up to object pattern and we're going to generate some patterns with this and I'm going to go with something simple I think that's a good prompt I've used it before the color I'm going to select there it is and then I'm going to choose number of colors auto and then color presets go with cool tones. I'm going to change it to a uh, let's go with a doodle and then I'm going to up the density quite a bit. Um, actually, let's make it totally dense. See what it looks like. Okay, and we're back and we have some really great texture back here, but it's a little bit too big. And an easy way to fix this is first go in and click on each one of these to register them down here. And then come up to the object menu and then just transform out. Let's make it a little bit small. Make sure that transform objects is not checked on and that we are checking on transform patterns. I'm going to make this one real small. 10. I think that looks pretty good. Okay, so all it did was add a bit of texture to the background. Now let's go up and export this as, and we'll just uh, leave it at untitled for now, but I'm gonna select use artboards and then just make sure, well, I just have all because I just have one artboard, but select the artboard you're using. And then over here, um, you can uh, set the background to transparent. Okay, so we're over here in Contrato and just like Spoonflower, they have basically the same editing interface and I'm going to just replace this image I had before with this new one. It will upload and you can see that it repeats pretty well and you can you know, double check and zoom in on it and scale it up. But that 18 inch by 18 inch repeats nicely and now I can choose any size fabric from their collection here and I can do the different print sizes um, knowing that that 18 inch by 18 inch repeat block um, is repeatable um, makes it so I could scale this fabric for any use and have on-demand print fabric ready to go.